So hello everyone. Uh, we have Prasiddhi Sachdeva with us, and uh, she has scored hundred percentile in economics, and she has been performing very well. So uh, let's just start, and you know, let's understand because it would be helpful for our viewers as well to understand that when should a person or when a child should uh, start preparing for CVT. So what are your thoughts on it? And I think it's very important that from the beginning of 11th class itself, the students should start practicing for objective type questions because that is what CUET is all about. Um, other than that, I took the mock test series towards the end of class 12 and I think my performance could have gone a bit better if I had taken the mock test series from the board. And it's not important if you are not acquainted into the concept that you should not start taking mock tests. The mock tests are a test of how you approach questions, not what the questions are all about. So if you take a test and then you score a certain mark, they do not reflect how you are going to perform in the actual test itself. They reflect how you take the questions to, towards your test. So uh, it's very, very important that you, from the beginning itself, you start taking mock tests. You analyze, you prepare sheets on how you can improve in the future, and then you revisit the same test. Like CL has a feature where you can actually take the same test again and again. So your you can see your own progress going upwards and upwards. So that's a really good feature with your mock test. So what was the change that you observed from like if we take mock as a benchmark? So before mock journey and after mock journey, how do you say that you know that made a difference for you? So we need to understand that. Yes, ma'am. Now, before mock, uh, I was not aware of as to how the questions would be in the exam. I had given board type of questions, but board type of objective questions are completely different as to the level that comes in CUT exams. Uh, like in CUT exams, the questions that they frame are a riddle in themselves. And to get used to that kind of pattern, it's very, very important that you have given a lot of mocks that prepare you for that very thing. Now, now students think that because they're not aware of the concept, they should be waiting and they should not like, be hesitant. Like I had my hesitation myself, but towards the last two months, I realized that I have the hesitation It's used to the paper, and for that, you should be giving more. All right. So uh, she's been emphasizing on the mock. So that again, you know, adds up another question. How do you think CL mocks have helped you as in the quality of the mocks or, you know, the questions that were being asked or, you know, how did CL help you in this journey? Because you joined us and you joined Career Launcher for test series. So what do you think that, you know, how CL made a difference in your life? I think this might not be an exaggeration. It might sound like an exaggeration, but it won't be an exaggeration if I say that the box, uh, the actual CVT pattern was around 99% of how the career launcher mocks are. So, like when I went to the test paper and I saw the questions, and I was like, I have already done these questions in the CL mock test. So it was very, very easy. All the question framing was a little different in CVT and the questions were a little different, but I already practiced the similar kind of test. It's very, very close. Like 80% for sure, it was the same as I had done in CL. So it was like I was just giving another mock test there without any change in the fact. So it was very, very fluent and very, very easy. So uh, basically, how did you come to know about Career Launcher that you can go and, you know, give the test series or did you go and find others and still you joined us? So how did you find or get to know about us? And we are taking sample mock test series of all institutes, like legal, legal and all of the, prepare, like all the situations. So there were tons of, like 15 lakh students every year. That's a huge number. So there are a lot of institutes giving that mock test series, but CL is a different the teachers provide one on one mentoring, even to the mock test students, which is like a different level of, uh, like I would say that I did not find that in any other coaching institute that I visited. I did a survey of around 15, 16 institutes before I took this mock test series, not because I was trying to benchmark, but because I did not find this kind of competitive environment. Like you form Telegram groups, you added us there, you sent daily questions on that group. You sent daily GK updates. You gave us access to monthlies. Like, what more could we have asked for? So that was really, really helpful. And uh, more, more than that, even if I could text the 
mentor they would make sure that my daughter my daughter would give it priority and just sort it out even though they did not really know i just texted them randomly on telegram so uh, that is the kind of personal uh, mentorship provided in here and that is not found anywhere else yeah so i think uh, you know it really helped you so uh, did you get any material from our side or you know study material or uh, the mocks and the solutions so how did you like uh, you already saying you really liked it but if you want to emphasize some point you know that you felt that it helped you in a specific way or certain thing like that um, i say that uh, revisiting the the 10 minute mock mock that you did the software test uh they the questions in those sectional tests they do specific topics were really really helpful because when i was doing my revision and then i did a revision for a certain topic that was not good enough, and then i went to that test series i attempted that test series and then i saw the amount of questions that i had left in my revision so that like the the trial and error process that sectional tests and mock tests provide is very very crucial for you to know your progress when you are preparing the last two months because most students in my batch were not aware that CUT is going to be the big game this year because we had seen it last year but last year it was just introduced so we were not mentally prepared for taking on CUT till the last two months and then the board session and everything so the last two months were the only big game that we played uh, in those two months uh, actually like after the board we were all very stressed out already and we were really done so after the board revising the same content over and over again and then doing the sectional and then checking on the same material it was getting hectic but the uh, amount of questions uh, the amount of apt questions like right? uh, say for example there was a 10 minute test with 20 questions so do, doing those 20 questions and seeing your progress is much much easier than sitting for a full fledged uh, 200 mark test that is very very long what are the two things that you feel work for you in the cvt journey getting the 100 percentile what are the two things that you, if you want to summarize and uh, maybe prioritize two most important things so what are those two things um when i say um, first very very important that you do not give a hundred percent of your time to your weaknesses focus on your strengths because cvt only takes two or three of your dominant subjects for the courses that you're looking for or uh, two or three of your domain subjects for the courses that you're looking for so it's very very important that you focus on your strengths first it's very very important that you give time to your weaknesses but weaknesses won't get you the 100 percent i your strengths so identify your strengths work towards your strengths and focus on your weaknesses but not 100 percent of your time Uh, the the divide should be sixty percent to your strengths and forty percent to your weaknesses. If you're doing it towards the end, if you're starting early, give time to your weaknesses first. Try and improve. If it's not possible, focus on your strengths. The second point that I'll give is that make a balance. From if the if from the beginning you devote like one hour or thirty minutes to F, to CUT every day, towards the end you'll have everything and make more. Make notes of very very small pointers that you think you won't remember towards the end. So that towards the end you will have a notebook and you can just flip through the notebook and you will have all the pointers that you once thought you did not remember. But because you flip the notebook so many times, you will remember remember all of it. And towards the end you will not have even a single fact that you don't know. And I have scored hundred percent in one subject. You might score it in all of the subjects that you have scored. Thank you so much, and I think for everybody who's watching, thank you so much for giving your crucial time to both of us. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.